we are going to start this video by showing you the physical method of modifying the hub bearing, the spindle, and its 4x4 locker. You would go to this video here to see more information on the 4x4 automatic locker hub modification. So let's begin by explaining what we're going to do to this automatic 4x4 locker hub and its assembly. When we take a look at the back of this assembly you'll see I already marked it and those two mark are for lubrication hole. So here we have our bearing already preload, set and tighten and when we look we can see these two holes right here is where our Phillips screw is going to go to retain the locker nut to the locker washer and here where you see the grease is is a hole that protrude all the way to the bearing and its cavity so let's remove this locker plate once we remove this locker nut what I want to show you here is You'll notice the bearing and when the grease is going to be pumped into the hub bearing it's going to exit the grease into this locker nut. It's going to come out of this hole right here then it's going to pass through these two little holes and I'm going to make two holes right here. These two holes is going to allow grease in between the needle roller bearing or should I say the washer needle roller bearing by providing grease to the washer needle roller bearing this is an effort to make the bearing last even longer in the event when you're going to be servicing this bearing you're most likely going to have to take this apart to lube the washer needle roller bearing and what's going to happen is this white plastic is going to break on you so I really don't advise that you take it apart completely. What you want to do is you just want to stick a flat stock in here. And now that you have this gap, you're just going to apply your grease inside. And then you're just going to fix it back together. So you don't have to pull it completely apart because if you pull it completely apart this spring and the plastic will have a likeliness to break. So I have to remove this completely to make my modification. So you see what happened there? We don't want that. We're just going to lay that to the side. This is our race for the roller bearing. This is the needle roller bearing right here. So now we need to make our modification to this. But let's lay this to the side. So this is our bearing. And there is the bearing cavity. This is where all the grease is going to fill. So when the grease fill in here, it's going to want to come forward, passing through these holes. And the hole that we're going to drill on here, entering onto the needle, roller bearing washer. So let's get all this stuff out of here and start doing our machine work. Before we could start machining we want to make sure that we have a straight and new drill bit. So we're going to install it and we basically want to just operate the drill and make sure the bit stays straight. It does not go like this.
that is what we want. So by using the vice grip to hold the part in position is better. And that is what we want. See the grease, the hole. This is going to bring grease to this bearing when it's in operation. So let's get the hole a little bigger. So when you're going to be attaching this vice grip to this lug, you want to make sure you don't crush it or disform it. So once we finish cutting the hole, we want to make sure this area here is absolutely smooth, which it is because we're using a brand new drill bit. Because when this bearing is going to roll itself there, if we should have any sharp edge, it's going to destroy the roller. So it is very important you take your finger and just feel it if possible. You take a little fine stone, one on like a quarter inch Dromel stone, and you could just deburr the edge prevent any sharp edge from damaging the bearing. So this here is finished. Let's move on to the spindle. And here I have, this is where the upper control arm will control. So I will put a hole here. And this is the lower control arm. And I will put a hole here. We don't want to put the hole, this is where the race is going to seat in the bearing race so we don't want to touch this here we just want to be a little forward of that and in front here will be the front bearing this spindle fork is a hardened metal on the surface it was treated by heat so the surface of the metal could be extra hard compared to the inside and this is for strength. So you're going to want to use a center punch to mark where you're going to put your drill bit because it's going to want to walk all over the place unless you have a steady hand.
once we are complete with drilling this side, we're going to have to move to the other side. So you don't want to use your finger to brush that off because it could prick you at the end of the finger and you will never know and it could turn serious. But here is a very important part that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a piece of napkin to protect the needle roller bearing so these metal shaving does not fall in to the bearing. Let's flip this to the other direction. Now we're going to place another hole right here. So once again we're using the Samsung, or should I say the Samsung S5 phone and apparently the phone wasn't recording the completion of the machine work. Sorry about that, but we've been having a lot of problems with the Samsung phone, not just the S5, also the S6, the S4. We have purchased many, many Samsung phones to make our production. Since the Samsung phone was unsuccessful at showing you the completion for drilling this spindle fork, we're going to try to show you how to modify the hub bearing assembly itself. So we're going to want to do our machine work from the back here. When we look at the hub bearing, we basically want to connect our hole with these two screws. So we're going to have to place the hole that we're going to drill right here. So it could be in line with this front hole. So this is going to go right here. So let's get onto that. Just want to check this and that's perfectly in line so let's go ahead and cut this all the way through it we have made our way all the way through now we must do the other side Let's check to see if the hole made its clearance all the way through and if you look at it up in the light you will be able to see all the way through but we have this one here so this one is gonna go straight down right straight 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 it's gonna go right here so the other hub bearing for the left side wheel, we had to drill it a little crooked like this. And that's because the way the machine is, machine these holes in the front. But that doesn't matter. This is just a straight angling compared to the 45 degree angle from the other drill.
and that's a sign that we have breakthrough on the other side. So let's see here. And that what we want. Let's try the other one. And that is what we want. So this has complete our modification for the automatic 4x4 locker hub bearing and its spindle fork. Let's get ready to assemble everything so I could show you what we are trying to accomplish. It is very important that we clean up all this metal shaving. A magnet will be very helpful in your cleaning. You do not want any of these metal chips inside the bearing or the fixture. So let's take a look at assembling all the modified parts. And what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure you get some grease like this so you can place on the parts during your assembly. You do not want to use a grease like this. This is a white lithium grease. Stay away from this. You don't want to use this with bearing and suspension component. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to drop this last bearing in. And I just want to place some lube on it, light coat of lube, because we're going to pack this hub bearing later on when it's assembled onto the vehicle. Let's replace this rear bearing seal that's going to seal itself against the spindle fork. Once the seal has been installed, we're just going to take some grease and apply it lightly onto the lip. Now this seal must be inspected. You must make sure the spring is in good condition and the seal has a channel in the middle. If that channel is not there, then it's a sign to replace the seal. So we're gonna place this on to our modified spindle. Finally have this nut fixed in location. We're now gonna drop this in position and I want you to take a look at these two holes because these two holes are gonna these two holes are the tunnel for the grease to come forward. So when we drop this locker washer in, we want to make sure we have those two holes exposed with the hole for our locker screw. So we're going to place the locker screw in. We don't really have to place them in now because I'm just showing you the experiment. So when we're going to be replacing this, you must understand that this is supported fixed and flat by these two legs inside here so this side here does not brace itself against this locker washer for support it's simply the two legs that sits and brace itself against these two posts but this has to go into these two slots so we're gonna place this like that and what we have is these holes right here now go all the way down to the bearing so the grease will be able to come all the way up and able to lube this needle roller bearing while it's in its cage so let's go and install this assembly onto the suspension and we are successful at making the modification to increase the lube and mileage for this bearing by packing this bearing the way we are it's going to extend its endurance it's also going to be help it's also going to help the bearing cool itself much better because there's more grease inside the cavity so this has complete our modification for the automatic 4x4 locker, hub bearing, spindle, and it's automatic clutch assembly. The only thing I wish I could do better in this presentation is basically replace the Samsung S5 phone because this phone overheats and shut off during the process of doing the video. So I would not recommend any Samsung or Samsung product to you, not even the TV, not the S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. Please invest 
in a Nexus smartphone or a Apple iPhone the Samsung phone this is my eighth Samsung phone in two years and all my video production are basically a mess because of the Samsung phone I'm sorry I wish I could made a better presentation but the camera phone from Samsung is very disappointing please do not buy this phone this is another way to help you save besides showing you how to save see you later when we take a look at the automatic 4x4 clutch locker plate when we're gonna get ready to assemble this you're gonna to want to make sure you place some lube on the needle bearing and its race so now when we're gonna be rotating this you see you can see the bearing rotating through the hole so as that bearing rotate and spins it way around grease is gonna eventually inject itself into this hole the bearing will be able to pick up the grease and lube itself properly it will get rid of that grease from the side so this is excellent apparently I cannot say that for the Samsung S5 phone please do not buy this phone this is a very very problematic phone the Samsung phone and unfortunately we have provided a solution to increase the endurance for the 4x4 locker hub stay away from Samsung so before we go and install this hub bearing onto the vehicle there's one thing I want to show you and this is the most important thing out of the whole procedure is to keep this locker nut aligned with the locker washer and at the same time you want to make sure you have these holes that's going to lubricate this hub also align so when we take a look right now we can see the holes for these screws are not perfectly in line we have to back off on the locker nut approximately two to three millimeter so we could install the nut but notice when we have the screw holes aligned we also have the lube hole aligned for this assembly when we're going to place it in position like this so it's going to fall like that see this hole is going to align with here and that one's going to align with here so what i've done is pick so what i've done i've picked up some new bearing to check this alignment because with a newer bearing you should not need to back off on the nut to make the alignment so the Samsung has shut off the flash automatically so let me hurry up before the cameras start acting up so these are new bearing and the reason we're replacing this bearing is because most of the time the roller are prone to wear and tear and not so much the race so we're not going to use the race the new race we still have the old race in here we still have the old race in here so I'm just gonna place the new bearing on so I just want to place the bearing in here so this is gonna be a little fight again you have to make sure this sit perfectly on the fork we're going to sit this in. Then we have to check for the trace on the locker nut. Gotta hurry up, Samsung phone might act up soon. So when you're going to tighten this nut, you want to make sure you're rotating the bearing and you're applying pressure to tighten the nut. So now that's fully tightened. When we drop our locker plate in place, we can see the holes for the lube are partially aligned and so is the bolts for the screw. So this bearing is basically identical to the used bearing which is 140,000 miles. So I'm not gonna use the new bearing because I want to continue my experiment with the 140,000 mile bearing 
at 200,000 miles, we're gonna remove this bearing. That will be these bearing. And then we're gonna inspect them. So I'm gonna keep these new bearing for later on in case we should have to replace these used 140,000 mile bearing. So we gotta reinstall our seal. So let's go to the vehicle and assemble the 4x4 hub bearing. See you later. So before we go, here's a modification I want to show you that I made with this bolt here. I basically drilled a hole, a tunnel bore, all the way through the bolt and attached a grease nipple to the end. I basically took a bolt like this with the same thread as these bolts. And then I take this little nut and the grease fitting and I weld it on here. But first you have to make sure you tunnel bore it before you could weld the nut and fit the grease fitting to it. So now I'm going to use this to screw it into here. And you can see I've already made my mark for where the holes that we have machined. So once this is installed,